Big news in the world of tiny structures, scientists may have reached the theoretical limit of how strong this particular material can get, designing the first ever super light carbon nanostructure that's stronger than diamond. Okay, I feel like here at Seeker, we talk a lot about carbon nano stuff, but what do those words actually mean? Well, carbon is a famously versatile element in the diversity of structures it can take, from graphite like in the tip of a pencil to a diamond. Both are just pure carbon, but with atoms arranged in different patterns. So carbon nanostructure literally means any arrangement of carbon atoms that results in something that can be measured on the nanometer scale, and that has novel or improved properties or functions because of its size. That includes carbon nanotubes, fullerenes, 2D graphene, carbon nanoparticles, and something called carbon nano horns, which sounds really fun. This latest development in the nano world of carbon comes from a team that has designed something called carbon plate nano lattices. Under a scanning electron microscope, they look like little cubes. And the math indicated that this structure would be incredibly strong, but the difficulty of making it meant that it had never actually been done until now. This team's success was made possible by a 3D printing process called two-photon polymerization direct laser writing, which is quite a mouthful. This is essentially 3D printing on the level of atoms and photons, which is definitely the coolest thing I've heard about this week. The technique focuses a laser inside a droplet of resin that is sensitive to ultraviolet light. The droplet is bombarded with two photons at a time, hence the name, that prints the resin into a solid. The team can use this process to create a particular arrangement of carbon struts and braces that make the structure uniquely strong and light, as well as enabling it to be a closed cell structure. This has been incredibly difficult to achieve so far in the manufacturing process. Like usually these nanostructures have to be constructed around a cylindrical scaffold, resulting in a shape called beam nano lattices. This seemingly small shift from a beam to a plate structure results in a lattice that's a whopping 639% stronger and 522% more rigid. This means the new design approaches the Suket and Hashin Strickman upper bounds, which is a fancy way of saying this type of design proved to be just about as strong and tough as it gets. Like, we think this tiny carbon nanostructure is the strongest a material this porous can ever be. And we made it in the lab with a laser. This is the first time a material that reaches those limits has ever been experimentally verified. One of the scientists on this team put it really neatly when they said that at this size, a structure like this essentially becomes a crystal, reducing its flaws and making it stronger. That's why these nanomaterials can be so freaking strong. In this case, stronger than diamond. But how can a material so small possibly be of any use on a larger scale? Well, incredibly strong nanomaterials in general promise great leaps forward in many fields, from medicine to electronics. But these carbon plate nano lattices in particular could transform fields like aerospace engineering because of their incredible strength while still maintaining a very low density perfect for flying into space. But there's a long way to go before we see these actually used in something like a spacecraft. If you thought just making one cube was hard, thinking about scaling that up to industrialized quantities, not an easy task. This is just the first proof of concept for yet another carbon nano wonder material, but with experiments like these yielding exciting results, I think we're well on our way to a tiny and mighty world. If you want more in carbon advancements, check out this video here and subscribe to Seeker for more boundary pushing material science. And fun fact, scientists actually have been making nanostructures out of carbon for the past 35-ish years, since Croto, Smalley, and Curl discovered how to do it and won the Nobel Prize for it. If you have other carbon nanostructure news you want us to cover, leave it in the comment down below, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.